What's going on everybody? It's Hailmeister here and welcome back to this episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister. Today is kind of a chilly day here in the northern Illinois area. I'm on a beautiful bike trail doing some geocaching with some friends. I'm doing a style of video that I got inspired by from Scott Miller from Scott and Ohio videos. Link there in the top corner will take you right to his channel. I have somebody that has been on my channel a few times that you've probably seen, but maybe you don't know much about them or why they like geocaching. So I introduced to you Soulwalk74, a guy that has been my friend for more than 20 years. All right, everybody, this is Soulwalk74, also known as Mike. How are you doing, Mike? Hey, good, how about you? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming along my trail today and, and finding some geocaches. This is gonna be a great day today. I know some people out there that have watched my videos for a while have seen you in several of my videos, like the one where we're headbanging. Then there's the one where I was stalking you for a while. It actually, <laughs> actually was on this trail, a different part of it. Yep. And then you remember that one time where we also went to that arcade and played all those video games? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Good one, I like that. <laughs> so yeah, people know who you are, but they don't really know who you are. Why don't you go ahead and tell us why you enjoy geocaching? Oh man, it's kind of a hard question to answer, but in a way it's also very easy to answer. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is the adventure. You know, I'm an, an explorer at heart. And even if you don't find caches, you do find a lot of things along the way. All the pictures that we take, all the nature trails we've gone down, all the hidden gems all over the place. So many things we didn't know existed until we got close to the cache or on the way there. Um, it's the excitement, it's the camaraderie, it's the family that's always with me, my friends. It's being outdoors, it's the fresh air, it's the exercise that we get usually. It's our favorite pastime. Right now it's time for some quick shots with Soulwalk 74 here. Ammo can in the woods or a cleverly hidden Myco in the city? Ammo can in the woods for sure. Long road trip or a fine near home? Long road trip for sure. How about some really cool swag in an ammo can or some really great travel bugs? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with travel bugs. An event at a park where there's food being cooked for you or an event at a restaurant where food is being cooked for you? Oh, I love food. Um, but I still would rather eat food outside, so at an event, yeah, outside, at a park. Where food is being cooked for you. Where food is being cooked for me, <laughs> yeah. Okay, how about a cleverly hidden nano or a great gadget cache? Gadget cache. Caching with a group or solo caching? Caching with a group. Watching a YouTube video or being in a YouTube video? Oh, being in a YouTube video for sure. Yeah! <laughs> Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Spicy food or mild? Spicy, for sure. All right, and that's the end of the quick shots. I hope you enjoyed that. All right, let's go find a few more caches. Listen to it in here. So this must be what it feels like to be a sardine in a can. Well, Mike, have you ever gotten injured while geocaching? Yeah, once. We were caching in a state park in Sterling, Illinois, and. We were going down this really sketchy, tiny, narrow trail that was real steep and muddy and wet. And I remember telling the kids, be careful, this trail's really steep and scary. And as soon as I said that, I biffed it, biffed it, biffed it. Biffed it. And slid all the way down the trail on my back and put a big slice all down my back. Yeah, you're not a geocacher until you get hurt being out in the wilderness in the wild. Speaking of that, have you ever had a tick embed itself in you yet? No, I've had a mommy, but I haven't had one embedded yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> yes. Just wait. And finally, Mike, before I go ahead and close this video off, uh, do you have any big plans this summer of doing any kind of cool geocaching or road trips? Oh, most definitely. 
the biggest one is the Midwest Geo Bash coming up in Ohio at the end of July. Yeah. That's going to be our first, you know, really big event. That's right. He'll be there at the Midwest Geo Bash. So will I, as well as some other friends and some vloggers too. So keep an eye out for those things. And if you're going to be there uh, and you see us, uh, stop by and say hi. And, uh, you know, I could probably have some personalized swag for you. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Geocache with Hailmeister. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. And here's some other videos you can watch as well, too. We'll see you guys next time for another episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister. Oh,